set up my kids' computers for use during the school year, I'll show you the computers we use, the websites they access, and more coming up. My kids are in kindergarten, second, and third grade, and each one of them has their own computer that they can use for schoolwork and sometimes for fun. The computers I chose to use for each of my kids is the Chromebook. Now, each one of them, like one of my sons has a Samsung Chromebook, another one has an HP Chromebook, and another one has a different HP Chromebook, like they're not the same. So why did I choose different computers? Well, I didn't really choose to get them different computers. They each got a new computer when they started um, kindergarten, so I just ordered a computer. Now, because computers are always updated and everything, each year I bought a computer, I could never find the same exact one. So that is why they all had different ones and why my youngest ended up with like the biggest screen. Um, luckily, they don't seem to care. <laughs> but brand aside, I do really recommend the Chromebooks for younger students. Why Chromebooks? So Chromebooks are very simple. There's no place to put a disc anywhere on these. You have a couple of ports for a USB drive and a micro SD, but you can't like download games onto them. You can't put a ton of stuff on them. They basically have the internet and that's it. That's all kids need now. Most apps or game sites are all online. They, I don't even know if you can buy like CD-ROMs with games on them anymore. Everything's online. So that is where all the educational value is. That's all where all the fun is. So all you really need for most kids is just the internet. Also, I wanna know with the Chromebooks, you will need to set up a Google account for your child. So you can do that and you can even set it up to have like family link sharing and everything and make sure you set certain privacy settings. But I'll let you go ahead and Google that because I'm not an expert. Our student uh, Google accounts came through the school, so they, they, they don't even have access to Gmail. The school has already set all the permissions, so I didn't have to do that for my kids, which is really great. But I know they don't have access to email or anything like that. They just have access to the basic Google applications. Now, if you have older students, Chromebooks might be a good option for you, depending on what your student will be doing on the computer. If your student is into like graphic design or coding and programming, and they do need to download other softwares, Chromebooks will probably not be a very good bet for you. But if your kid just needs to access the internet and some Google Docs to write a paper and print it out, then, go, then this could be a very good choice for you. So you just need to kind of figure out what your student needs it for and make sure that the computer matches those needs. I also like Chromebooks because they are actually on the less expensive side from other laptops available. Basically, when each of my kids were school age, I looked on Office Depot and I said Chromebook and selected the cheapest one I could find. So that's how we ended up with all three of these different computers. Now let's move on to what I do to set up my kids' Chromebooks. The first thing I do when I open up the Chrome browser is I make sure that I can see the bookmarks toolbar. Now this is key because I use this bookmarks toolbar as these are the sites that you can go to section. Some of them they are required to use for their day-to-day -day school lessons, such as iReady or Typing Club for my oldest, and others I have on there just as educational websites that they can go on as fun time. My kids know that these are the only sites they're allowed to, and again, they're younger, so these sites are more than enough fun to keep them entertained. They're not trying to go anywhere else, really but they know that if they're on a site that they're not supposed to be on, they lose their computer privileges. So my biggest tip when using laptops or computers in general with your kiddos is just to make sure that you only put things on there that you want them to use. Now, this can't always be done if you're using a shared family computer, but try to figure out a way that you can make it so kids easily know where to go. Again, if you create a Google account for each student, then you can actually log into the different Chrome browsers and it'll change the bookmarks for each student. So that could be one simple way for a family computer to be able to still have a, a different child or a different person logging in each time. And that way the bookmarks will change and each student, even if you have high schoolers and kindergartners, they each have their own bookmarks that they know these are the sites they're allowed to go on. 
As far as the sites that I want my kids to use, I do want them to be somewhat educational. So I did do a video about educational websites for kids, which you can check out here, that goes into even more in depth of each of these websites, but I'll just kind of mention them briefly here. At the moment, my K, second, and third grader all have basically the same bookmarks. These bookmarks are iReady, Reading Eggs, Typing Club, Code Monkey, Code.org, Tinkercad, ABC Mouse, Scratch, Starfall, Codable, NASA Kids Club, and Fun Brain Junior. Now, I select the websites that I want my children to use very, very carefully. I'm always checking the website before I let them play. I basically pretend I'm a kid, well, sometimes I am. And I go on there and I say, hey, is this educational? How easy is it for them to click on an ad and get somewhere else? There are several websites I wish I could allow my kids to go to because I do like the content, but there's so many ads that look so fun that I know my kids are just gonna click on the ad and end up somewhere else and not know what to do. It is also very important to me that kids stay safe when using the internet. I'm actually gonna be coming out with a separate video all about this topic with my tips on how I make sure my kids are safe on the internet. So if you are interested in that, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified on all of our new videos. And hopefully that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. One last thing that I wanted to mention that I don't have access to myself because again, like I said, my kids' Google accounts are all set up through the school, but it is possible if you're using a Chromebook to set time limits on certain apps or just on the computer in general. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below that will take you to full instructions on how to do this, but basically you can set time limits on the computer, you can set time limits on specific apps or just block an app altogether. So again, check the description for a link to those instructions. Do you use computers in your homeschool? What are some tips and tricks that you use? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to get more homeschool content just like this. See you next time.